And I think there's a real prospect that if we can beat them out of government <coughs> this time, they will break up a chunk of them going UKIPish, and God knows where the same will go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Might even come to labour. <laughs> so there's a, a real prospect, and you have to recognise how important, and how historically significant this is, because it has to be said that the Tory Party is the political organisation in the whole of Europe that has been the most successful for about 140 years, and they're on their knees. We've got the key to the there. And the only thing, other thing I'd say is this. I cannot remember, and I doubt that anyone else can remember, a Prime Minister who would lower himself, or in the case of one of them, herself, to having nothing but personal abuse to her yes. as the leader of the opposition. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> crawling round in the gutter to compare with this old Etonian millionaire. The other thing, just to remember about what a set of people they are, they are the only cabinet who by changing the tax of the law actually awarded themselves a gigantic increase in their take-home pay. Think if a Labour government had done something which resulted in the cabinet being maybe 50,000 a year better off, or 100,000 a year better off. They are a squalid lot of people, and we need to get them out of town. <coughs> and the final thing I'd say is this. We can actually have a homegrown Prime Minister. <laughs> <laughs> And I heard somebody doing a summary on the on the radio the other day saying he'd, he'd really had rather a privileged life going to Oxford. But he didn't mention he'd been to Primrose Hill and Haverstock on the way. Uh, and so this man here, we've got to get him elected. I'm sure we will get him elected. I hope he gets a bigger majority than I ever got. I really do. Honest, I do. <laughs> <laughs> And, and, then, and then to get Ed into down the street. That would uh, that be a, a good sort of semi, maybe not a full stop, but a semi colon in my life, if you see what I mean. And what Sarah has been saying, and that is, there are other constituencies need more help than we do, if you see what I mean. Say, Ponzi and Woodbury, where we can get out. Yes, Slytherin, Big Dem, uh, and one or two others. You, you, you pick where you go, but there are marginal seats in London, and we need to win those seats. And I've been going to other parts of the country where there are marginal seats as well. And our folks are up for it. And I must say, I feel even more up for it when I look at the front page of the, of the, of the Sunday Times. So I think Labour four points in the lead. Ed did better in the debate. You can see why he didn't want to debate. Uh, you can see why he was determined not to debate. Because he wouldn't have been able to get away with just personal abuse, would he? So, finally, thanks a million for all the help you've given me. Thanks also to our colleagues on the council who've been doing a brilliant job in very difficult circumstances. And with you and our folks on the council, <laughs> we ought to be doing well. And I sincerely hope, therefore, that on the early, on the morning of the 8th <coughs> of May, Keir will be duly elected as a Member of Parliament for Hogan and St. Pancras. It's a very precious place, yeah. but I know he'll look after it. Thank you very much.